Yes, uh, that's that's one of the major things. Uh, the young Jose Rizal was we we had really just one account that said he may have been at the execution, uh, but uh, that was not corroborated. We do know that at the time executions were public events and that parents really brought their kids. Happened, uh, thousands of people attended the execution, uh, but we needed that visual link to show that Rizal was there. We also know that Rizal was so inspired by the three priests. That he once said uh, in a letter that if it were not for the three priests, he probably wouldn't have written his novels. He probably would have been a friar. He said. Um, so we needed a way to visualize that. But my favorite example of, of balancing uh, history with drama is the execution scene. Um, the lines that Gomez and Burgos say at the end, apart from Zamora being almost a vegetable. But the lines that they say at the end are word for word what they had said during the execution according to accounts. So Burgos had said, uh, Gomez had said, you know, uh, a leaf cannot move if it's, if it's not for the will of the Lord. Uh, Gomez had actually, uh, Burgos had actually said, Wala um, uh, you know, we're innocent, why do we have to die this way? But in historical accounts, they said that, the, that he had said it in a very, cowardly, weepy, uh, pitiful way. And we read that as scriptwriters, and we rejected that. Because first and foremost, it goes against everything we know about his character. We know Burgos is a firebrand. We know, according to accounts, that he had written this Los Filipinos testimony. So why would he, at his final moments, be a coward? It didn't make sense to us as storytellers. And number two, we began to ask ourselves, what did he say? He said, we're innocent. Isn't proclaiming you're innocent the most defiant and dignified thing that you can do? To proclaim your innocence in front of a crowd, in front of the Spanish government, in front of, of, of um, thousands of people, that is the most dignified, defiant thing. So we, we, we and Brody and the whole team, and Cedric, this was a big discussion with Cedric, we had all decided that this is how we're going to play it. This is a dignified, defiant moment, and this is how we're going to treat it. Um, so that's one of the things we began to balance. Beautiful words. Uh, unfortunately, we only have one, uh, one time for one question, so... Uh, okay, you, you go. Go, yeah. go ahead. Hi, I wanted to... Um, okay, hi. I'm Carol, the Kim Rowe, and I wanted to ask... Um, the question that you raised about lighting, um, I thought actually it was a metaphor for the period. It was a very dark period for the Philippines, for the 8,874 Indios, and that the candles were the, the light given by the priests. So was that um, on purpose, or was that just, just happened? Um, well, we really, well, the candles were, you know, the, the only source of light at night. Um, so we, 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 we began planning it. Uh, there was a discussion, actually, of if we were going to have caseras, lamps, or just candles. And our production designer was very insistent on just candles. And, right, like, we tried a few times, but he really wanted candles, so we stuck with candles. But um, there's a line there in the film, uh, you want to dream, right, that they, their lives would serve as yung Micha. So that also was always in my head, that light, light is hope, we define that. Uh, and then that's why light was always just struggling to come in. Because light, light, hope was always out there. God's just there, and somehow it's trying to come to us, um, to them. Uh, so I guess that's that's really the, the the philosophy of the lighting. Thank you, Madam Salman. And so definitely.
congratulations. So please spread the news and uh, encourage your friends and family to come. That's going to be on Thursday. And then another few and then I will have a better reading of the moderation that I want. So thank you all. And thank you. Thank you. On Thursday, our uh, other cast member, Father Good, was sending one. Our best actor will be here. He's arriving tonight, so we may want to catch him also. One more time.